Hello, all of my beautiful Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign friends. My name is Lachon with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your mid May 2018 love and romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who have thumbs up and liked my videos. Thank you to all of those who have commented and shared my videos, and thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. There was a little glitch on my website for those of you who have been trying to book a reading. However, this glitch has been resolved. So again, you can go ahead and visit my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com to book a reading with me. And on my website, under the readings page, there is a full list of all the readings that I have available. So you can check that out. Also, you can contact me at any time through the Instant Go app, and the link for that is www.instantgo.com slash Power Life Hypnosis. And through the Instant Go app, this is available through iPhone and iPad, available through iOS. Send me a message and I will respond within 24 hours. Both links to my Instant Go and my website are in the description box below, so please check those out. Also, if you are interested in learning about who your future long-term partner is, including details such as when and where you meet this person, what this person will look like, how to recognize him or her, as well as align yourself with your future long-term romantic partner and the relationship of your dreams, you can book a reading with me now through the description box below. So you can book a future partner reading as well as an extended future partner reading with me again through the description box below. So please check that out as well. These are general readings, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. If they do not resonate with you, please check your moon and rising sign videos, as those messages may. And if the messages do resonate with you, please check your moon, sun, and rising sign videos in order to gain a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the ending portion of May 2018. Alrighty, so my lovely, lovely Saggies, I love Sagittarius's. You know, it's interesting, all my best friends, I realize from growing up <laughs> until now um, have all been Sagittarius's so I, I guess I just have a thing for Sagittarius's I love you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get into your reading now um, I have three cards here for your overall energy for your love life and I have two predictions as well as your Oracle guidance so we will get into the Oracle guidance last so let's go ahead and start with your uh, theme for your love life during the ending portion of May if you haven't checked out the May reading, go ahead and check that out. You can um, come back to this or you can check that reading out after you go ahead and view this reading. So again, let's go ahead and get into your uh, themes here for your love life during the any portion of May. So my lovely, lovely Saggies, who I love so much, <laughs> the first card that I have here for your love and romantic relationships, I have here let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally Sagis, you are calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and Sagis, this could be the one this person the person in your life now the person who you're thinking about, the person who you came to this reading with, uh, or the person who you came to this reading, you know, who was on your mind, this person can be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, taking these three cards together, I have a very clear message here that you, Saggy, may be dealing with someone who you have a divine partnership with. You have a soulmate connection with. Again, you're calling on your soulmate. So this is somebody who you have a very significant, very important, very growth-oriented, I'm hearing, relationship with. So during the ending portion of May, you could be dealing with or you could be calling in or you could be attracting a soulmate into your life. But we do have several soulmates in our lives because the purpose of soulmates is to come into our lives and teach us lessons 
help us transcend, help us evolve, help us transform in some way some shape or some form so again you are calling in your soulmate at the ending portion of may so for many of you especially because um i have mostly a female audience i feel as though this is going to resonate for a lot of you females you know look at the woman on this card it looks like she is doing uh you know she's praying she is calling upon her higher power she's calling upon god universe spirit her guides, you know, uh, manifestation energy in order to make what it is that she wants happen. She is having, I'm seeing in this car, blind faith. This could be a soulmate who has a lot of healing energy for you, regardless of if you are male or female. Actually, I feel like as though it is for both parties. So if you are a female or you are more feminine energy, this is regardless of if you are in a heterosexual or a same-sex relationship. If you are the more feminine energy in this connection, you could be calling on your soulmate. You could be practicing magic. You could be using the law of attraction. You could be praying. You can be wishing. You can be stating your intentions to your higher power, to God, to the universe, to your guides regarding attracting what it is that you want again through prayers affirmations and visualizations you can be calling in what it is that you want and what it is that you want could be aligning with you in the 3d but again i do see here that you are you know calling in your soulmate however this resonates with you so in order to call in your soulmate in order to bring in your soulmate you are being called to you are being guided to let go of control it because this person is your soulmate i do have also here this card of this could be the one and these two cards are De all these three cards rather are definitely connecting here this looks like this person who you are dealing with saggies you're calling in your soulmate this person could be the one so you are being called to let go of whatever control issues you are experiencing with this person allow the situation to unfold naturally allow things to go with the flow allow things to happen Regardless of the circumstances, because it looks like this situation has been given to you, or, you know, the situation has been given to you by the angels, by God, by the universe, by your uh, higher power, by the angels, by the cherubim. So this situation was given to you for a higher purpose. So this person is definitely a soulmate. And keep in mind, Saggies, that we have many soulmates in our lives. You know, a lot of the time we like to think that we have one soulmate. Um, we have many different soulmates in our lives because soulmates come into our lives to teach us lessons, to help us transcend, to help us progress, to help us evolve, to help us transform in some kind of way so again whoever is coming into your life whoever is in your life during the ending portion of may or whoever is significant in your life romantically during the ending portion of may could be a soulmate could be somebody who is at the very least there to help you grow learn transcend transform evolve or for many of you this could be a twin flame or for many of you this could be the one so again let go of control issues regarding this situation so let's go ahead and go into your first prediction Sagis. so we'll see how this energy plays out here regarding this um letting go of control issues and soulmate energy We'll see how this plays out as we move forward into your predictions. So for your first prediction, Sagis, um, I have here the Seven of Hearts. Um, this is the tree card. I don't know what made me look at the Seven of Hearts. You know, usually I just look at the symbols. But let's see. The Seven of Hearts in the traditional tarot deck has to do with illusions. Yes. So there could be some illusions within your love life. This is a card that has to do with, again, illusions, um, fantasy, not truly seeing things for what they are. So in some kind of way, some of you Sagis could be dealing with 
some kind of again illusions fantasies um some kind of or you could be um creating some kind of energy of illusions perceptions with somebody else in your love life but things may not be as they seem for example you could be uh experiencing some romantic feelings for somebody but not expressing them so things are not as they seem so think there may be illusions going on for example okay so i have here again the tree card lilies and the cross card so the tree card, the lilies, and the cross card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So taking these three cards together, the two things that I'm picking up very strongly, or the two things that I see very strongly with this uh, tree card here and this lilies card here, I see that some of you may be waiting. Patience slow movement may be a theme going on in your love life at this time because this tree card here can mean you know a tree it takes a long time for a tree to grow so this can be maturity things are maturing things are growing this is a uh, long period of time and again this lily's card this lily's card can mean patience waiting again a uh long period of time so some of you could be experiencing some de not delays but um some of you could be waiting to make a romantic situation happen there can be delays regarding this relationship it could be taking time a significant amount of time for this connection to evolve or for this connection to become solid for this connection to um, grow some of you could be exercising patience as this relationship matures some of you may be feeling impatient as well some of you may be feeling as though this waiting for this relationship to evolve for this relationship to you know uh trend not transcend but evolve um ground itself you may be feeling as though it's taking a longer amount of time than you would like it to again which could be leading to feelings of impatience i'm seeing a slowness regarding the evolution or regarding the development of this romantic connection so for those of you who are for example, in a relationship with an older male over the age of 30, because that's what this Lily's card represents. This Lily's card represents somebody older. This can be somebody who is, um, for some of you, wider European, somebody um, physical appearance. This is somebody who appears mature, who may have a mature face, mature look about them. This can be, again, if this is a physical appearance, um, a older male over the age of 30 a male who is um white or european or this could be a female because this can resonate in many different ways so you could be this individual for example but this can resonate in many different ways because this is a general reading but this is somebody who um appears wise you know um this could be somebody with gray hair or graying hair or salt and pepper hair, maybe a receding hairline or anything like that. But this could be somebody with gray hair. This is likely somebody who's going to be very attractive. Um, this can be somebody who's older than you, um, somebody who's more mature than you. Somebody with just a lot of wisdom. So some of you said just could be dealing with somebody with a lot of wisdom or this could be you. So you can be an older male over the age of 30. You can be an older male dealing with a younger female or a younger male, depending on what gender you date. But you could be dealing with someone with a more feminine energy who, or actually um, this could be with a more masculine energy. So this is regardless of if you date same sex or uh, 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 opposite gender, regardless of the dynamics, this could be somebody who um, is older. So you can be this older person again, over the age of 30, more mature, wise, or you can be dealing with somebody with these attributes. It could be that 
So the, in the center, we have this Lily's card, who is, again, that older male over the age 30, or that individual who is wise, mature. So there could be, again, a lot of uh, waiting. A lot of waiting on the maturity for this relationship to happen with this tree card. Um, time, you know, could be spent waiting for this relationship to occur waiting for things to mature in this situation with this older male or if you are this older male you can be waiting for the situation to occur to mature and that can be creating some kind of problem some kind of burden some kind of unhappiness within this circumstance because that's what this cross card deals with it deals with sadness burdens unhappiness sometimes it can deal with a separation between you and another person that may be a challenging separation it does deal with challenges and again burdens for some of you you can be dealing with an older male over the age of 30 or someone who is older I dropped my card someone over the uh, someone who is older or you can be this older male and you could be dealing with a soulmate you can be dealing with a karmic mate you can be dealing with you know a significant relationship nevertheless it could be that this relationship is somewhat non-existent like um uh what is it like he's not He's not that into you, you know, like that book. He's not that into you. So it could be that you are dealing with a relationship with this person and you are not receiving the affection, the attention, the romance, um, the uh, what you would like in this situation. So that's what I have here. This cross card does refer to burdens, challenges, sadness depression so many of you are going to be experiencing that kind of challenging energy during your relation or you know in this connection some of you could be dealing with a karmic relationship a soulmate relationship a past and life relationship with an older male over the age of 30 and this could be a very spiritual connection so you can know that this is a karmic connection know that this is a past life connection here so that's what i see here regarding your first prediction so let's go ahead and go into your second prediction and we'll see how you know this relic this um plays out or how this is relevant so for your second prediction i am using my prediction cards here so for uh the first two cards here as i was shuffling your deck i did have some cards fly out and i did have the cards of twin flame uh and a physical connection so some of you are dealing with a twin flame or if you don't know what a twin flame is you could um Go ahead and look into that. I did do a video that is in my May 2018 Love Readings playlist regarding twin flames who are in separation. So if you are in separation from your twin flame at this time, um, go ahead and check out that video because that video may provide you with some necessary messages. But I do see that many of you are dealing with the twin flame who you uh, are in a physical connection with so there may not be deep emotional uh ties between you and this person nevertheless i do see here a physical connection between you and this person so it could be a really deep intimate sexual relationship it can be a uh just a physical connection in general for example um i think i was doing a reading for a sagittarius yesterday and um, I got news that she is in now communication with her twin flame. So it could be just that you are in communication with your twin flame and you are now physically connected in the 3D. Whereas maybe before you were only um, engaging in a 5D relationship. So, okay, let's move forward. So on the bottom of the deck, I see here, I'm going to take a few cards on the bottom of the deck because the card that actually came up at the very top um, was just a card speaking of something affirmative. So I see here that it could be the affirmative or there may have been some endings with you and another person. 
some endings to a cycle, some endings to a behavior, some endings to something between you and this other person leading to a new beginning, leading to a fresh start in this connection. And this can be somebody who you feel as though is your true love, or this can be somebody who you feel as though is very significant to you. So this is especially going to resonate for those of you who know you are in Twin Flame Connections. If you don't know what a Twin Flame is, or if you don't think that you're in a Twin Flame, or actually, if you don't know what a Twin Flame is, um, you're not interested, you know, you don't have to go and go into that but if you feel as though you are in a very divine 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 connection with another individual it could be useful to um go online and look up what twin flames are again or if you know you are a twin flame and you know that you are currently in separation from your twin flame go ahead and check out that twin flame um channel messages video so i see here that they're gonna be there's gonna be again some kind of ending of a cycle some kind of ending of something with um somebody who you feel as though your true love leading to a new beginning leading to a fresh start there may be some disappointments with you and this person you may have uh, experienced some disappointments within your love life um recently nevertheless i see that there will be a change of perspective regarding the situation so you may um, receive a change of heart for example you may achieve or um, attain a change of mind for example, or you can achieve, 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 achieve is not a word, achieve, you can attain a change of perspective regarding the situation due to some karmic lessons that you may have experienced regarding casually dating somebody or somebody that you are casually dating. Okay, so let's go ahead and move forward and see what we have for your actual prediction here. I just saw the doubt. I'm sorry. Oh, that's weird. I saw the doubts and uncertainty cards. So some of you may be experiencing some doubts and uncertainties regarding this situation. Not all of you, maybe one or two of you. So, okay, let's move forward with your prediction and let's see your second prediction rather than let's see what we have. So for many of you, Saggies, I see here a situation where you could be dealing with a past love. Um, so this is an ex or for some of you, this can just be somebody who you are not in contact with all the time. So this may not be somebody that you, for example, um, live with, have a firm um, relationship with, have a family with, you know, somebody that you live with. This is maybe somebody that you see off and on or somebody who um, you can consider a past love because you are not currently, you know, living with this person. You're not currently in cahoots why did i say that you're not currently you know with this person so this could be somebody at a distance this can be somebody you only see once in a while this can be somebody um who is an ex some kind of past love in some kind of way so it looks like the connection between you and this person saggy so again this could be somebody who's still in your life right now but maybe somebody who you know, you don't spend every day with making this person show up as a past love because, again, this is a past love card here. So some of you are dealing with a lover who could be an ex, who could be somebody in your life now, but somebody who you are not with all the time, not married to, however this resonates. So this shows up again as a past love. And there could be some slow movement in the or there could have been rather in the past some slow movement in the connection between you and this person because somebody could have been remaining detached you said you or the other person could have been remaining detached in this uh situation even though you may care for this person very much and you may feel as though this person is ideal and ideal love for you you know the type of person that you want to be with maybe it's their personality maybe it's the way they um operate with you not operate well yes operate with you you know maybe the way they deal with you um however this resonates it looks like this is going to be somebody who you consider an ideal love or somebody that you care for very much somebody who you feel is very important for some of you i'm feeling as though i just heard for many of you this person is somebody who has helped you heal in some way shape or form help you transcend some type of challenging energy this is a very i'm picking up somebody who is a very very positive energy within your life um a very you know this person may add something to your life in a positive way so that's a message for one or two of you but again i'm seeing here a situation where there's a person who there may be slow movement with bam bam slow movement 
very 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 slow moving because if you think about it a tree how long does it take a baby tree to grow it takes a tree a significant amount of time to grow the lilies speaks of patience waiting slow you know these are two very slow moving cards so again in the past i see a circumstance where um you in this past love there was there are you in this lover that you have now who you haven't seen it's going to be anywhere from a you haven't seen this person from a few days to a few weeks to a few months to a few years however this resonates there's slow movement between you and this person Sagi. um oh i can always say this is going to be a very long reading so uh go ahead and grab a snickers you're going to be here for a while so there's some detachment that has happened between you and this person, even though, again, you truly care for this person. Um, or this could be the situation reversed because this is a general reading. So it could be that the other person detached from you. Okay, so after that, I see there was some kind of situation where somebody was chasing after or somebody may have been pining after. Um another individual so you said you could have been chasing or pining after an individual or an individual could have been chasing or pining after you wanting you and you may not have been providing that person with the love the romance the affection the attention that that person needs again or vice versa but i do see here a situation where in the recent past there was a decision somebody made a decision to complete this dynamic or I can see that for some of you, it was challenging to chase after this person. It was challenging, you know, to put in your effort regarding this person when they weren't putting in the same effort. But in any event, however, this resonates with you, because again, this is a general reading. I see here that somebody was chasing after the other individual. Somebody was putting in more effort than the other individual. And this circumstance, this cycle... I want to say this circumstance came to a completion it came to a completion it came to a completion in some kind of way um, because there was some kind of improvement or it came to a completion bringing and leading to improvements within your romantic life I do see here within the recent past some very very positive energy so there could have been some very positive energy between you and this other individual for example you could have seen them recently you could have connected with them recently and just um, brought up some good energy there's some good energy between you and this person I do see here especially right now because I see here that many of you are experiencing a happy healthy connection with this person or you feel as though your connection with this person is happy fulfilling it looks like for many of you this situation was destined so you're supposed to meet this person you were supposed to have this experience you're supposed to have whatever minor setbacks that you've had in the recent past or whatever minor setbacks you may be having now but I feel as though it's most likely in the recent past because I can see here that these minor setbacks these issues these challenges that you were having Saji with this person or maybe this person was feeling as though they were having challenges with you because you could have been like everything's fine you know I'm just living my life and it could have been the other person experiencing some challenges with you or some issues with you or some set feeling as though they were experiencing setbacks with you so again this can resonate in um, two different ways but I see here that there's some healing to this energy some transcendence to this challenging energy here so that is very wonderful so again the energy that i have going on now for many of you saggies or whenever you are watching so again at this time currently i see some positive energy for you saggies there could be a lot of healing of issues setbacks tumultuous energy challenging energy and know that the healing that you are experiencing the um transcendence and energy whatever happy healthy um situation you are experiencing at this time is destiny this is a faded situation this is meant to move you forward in some way or bring you some karmic lessons in some way uh, heal some karmic debt in some way so you could be healing some karmic debt from a past life for example but however this resonates with you this situation is debt I mean I'm sorry destiny this situation is faded 
for you in order for you to learn a higher lesson in order for you to transcend in order for you to evolve in some kind of way so moving forward i see here This is kind of some energy that is contradictory to the energy going on now. So it looks like there could be some a shift for many of you in some kind of way, which may be why you are being told to let go of control issues, which may be why you are being alerted that this person could be the one and you are calling on your soulmate. Because I do see it that some of you are in an unhealthy attachment with somebody. So you could have an unhealthy attachment to a person. A person can have an unhealthy attachment to you. There could be an attachment to a lifestyle. For example, some of you can be um, heavily... Um, Sorry, I got an email there. Some of you can be heavily, um, you know, using drugs or, or alcohol or some kind of substance. And that could be what you are uh, maintaining an unhealthy attraction to or a healthy attachment to rather. Some of you can have an unhealthy attachment to the past. And I do feel as though that same card came up in your uh, May general love reading. For some reason, I'm feeling as though this card came up during your May general love reading. So if you haven't checked out that reading, go ahead and do so after this one. But some of you could be having an unhealthy attachment where this is you having an unhealthy, unhealthy attachment to the past, maybe exes, maybe past programming within your love life. So this could be, for example, in your childhood, if uh, you receive the messages that... Um, for example, if you are a female that, you know, there are no good men out there. Or if you are a male, you could receive the message that all women are um, gold diggers or women will um, lie or whatever. You know, what? however this resonates. Um, however this resonates with you. You can have an unhealthy attachment to the past and that unhealthy attachment to the past, excuse me, sorry for shaking the camera there. This unhealthy attachment to the past can be moving forward, not moving forward, but carrying over into your current circumstances and into your life right now, which could be sabotaging or, you know, um, creating a, a challenging energy. But I do want to say sabotaging. That's more the energy I'm picking up. So sabotaging your ability to attain a happy, healthy relationship at this time. So again, let go of control issues. You know, don't be afraid to, I'm hearing, don't be afraid to let your heart break. Um, there's a song by Kelsey, what's her name? Kelsey Ballerini or something. She's a country singer and she has a song, you know, when she speaks about letting, uh, you know, not being afraid to let your heart break. So if there's somebody who can be the one, if you are calling in your soulmate, but you are feeling some fear based thoughts, you are drawing on your past programming that can sabotage your relationships moving forward. Let go of these control issues because you have a beautiful romance you have a you have beautiful circumstances a beautiful love present in your life right now that is available to you that is you know yours for the taking nevertheless again you have to let go of these control issues like all these fear-based thoughts like go of these preconcept uh, these uh, preconceived notions regarding dating and love and relationships and the like so Again, it looks like many of you are experiencing some kind of unhealthy attachment to a person. So it could be an ex. It could be unhealthy attachment to a parent. It could be unhealthy attachment to neglect. It could be unhealthy attachment to uh, abuse. An unhealthy attachment to a person, a place, or a thing. So this could be this past love. But this can resonate in many different ways once again. So I'm seeing a situation where... It could be, um, you could be an older male. You can be a male, again, over the age of 30. For some of you, this is over the age of 50, but this can be an older male over the age of 30 who you are experiencing an unhealthy attachment with, or you could be this older male over the age of 30 experiencing an unhealthy attachment to the past. And it looks like there's going to be some kind of important conversation in the near future 
after watching this so this is whenever you watch this moving forward for example within the next week or so um week and a half or so there could be a situation where there is um, an important conversation that you have with this person or you can be expressing yourself the other person can be expressing themselves in some kind of way and this um, expression could be leading to some feelings of rejection or somebody could have an important conversation which uh, the subject matter and the theme of the conversation the outcome of the conversation unfortunately I'm sorry Sagittarius may be some rejection and maybe some isolation so you Sagittarius could be rejecting somebody this person can have an unhealthy attachment to you in some cases but you Sagis could be rejecting somebody and going into isolation so some of you are going to be isolating yourself from an individual so I'm seeing here a circumstance where moving forward past this energy so going towards the end of the month so this could be the last week of the month in May going into June but you know however this resonates with you regarding timing I see here where this rejection this isolation from this other individual so somebody cannot I'm, I'm thinking of the ghosting card too somebody could be ghosting somebody somebody could just you know be in isolation not really in contact not really in communication with this person somebody is feeling rejected and this is leading to some problems leading to some feeling like there's a problem in this situation you know things are not all hunky-dory things are not all uh, peaches and cream here nevertheless I do see here at the very end a positive outcome because I see here that somebody is going to be feeling some uh, excited emotions. Somebody's going to feel excited. Somebody's going to feel happy, um, energetic, and exciting about <clears throat> the demonstration of love coming from, for example, a younger female or a um, less mature female than you. So again, you can be an older male, many of you Saggies dealing with a younger female you can be a younger female many of you saggies dealing with an older male you can be a younger female many of you cross watchers dealing with an older saggy so i'm seeing here that you saggy you're going to be feeling some some i'm sorry some excitement some um happy feelings you know you may be feeling some energetic emotions thrilled you know excitement because of some demonstrations of love so it could be that this younger female if you are a male or if you uh you know are same-sex relationships this is just a younger female showing their love showing how they feel demonstrating their affection their feelings their love toward you Saggy. so you could be feeling uh, and experiencing and um, seeing signs of love affection attention um, you could be feeling really good because of the energy of this younger or more immature female um, this can be again the situation uh, vice versa so you could be the younger female showing your demonstrations of love to another individual however this resonates with you but it looks like this person again is a soulmate so I'm saying two cards here about a soulmate this person can be the one so even if this person is not the one um, sorry I'm like shaking the camera I guess I'm getting all passionate up in here if, even if this this is not the one for the long term or even if this is not the one who you are going to be with for the rest of your life know that this is a very important person in your life this is a very significant relevant situation so again um you saggy are going to be experiencing some excitement experiencing um some good feelings because of some messages it could be some messages received so it could be that this younger female um if you are a male or if you uh are in relationships with females you could be the older individual receiving messages from a younger female or the situation can be vice versa regardless of what gender you date um or what gender you are but I do see here a younger, more or more immature female energy here who could be demonstrating their love. So this is again regardless of if this is you or your significant other. But I do see here some messages that are going to be received. So you may be sending a lot of messages back and forth between this person or this person 
um, regardless if this, if this is a younger female or you are the younger female, your significant other could be sending some messages to you demonstrating how they feel and demonstrating love or you could just be feeling really good because of the messages that this person is sending and what they are saying to you. And this is going to be at the ending portion of May. You're going to be feeling really good because of the situation. So it could be that the third week in May, there may be some challenges, some rejection, some isolation or something like that. You may not spend a lot of person, a lot of person, a lot of time with this person um, in the third week of May, but going into the fourth week of May, um, or I don't know if May has five weeks, I'm not sure. Um, but going into the ending portion of May, you know, it looks like this situation will transcend some, this energy will transcend, it will um, rise. Um, and somebody's going to be showing their love. So actually, this is regardless of if there's isolation and um, rejection here. Because somebody could reject somebody and the other person can still be... Let's see if I have a chasing... Oh, yes, I do have that chasing and pining card. So it could be that one person is rejecting the other person and the person who is rejected... Um, could be still attempting to show their romance to the other person or it could be again you may reject somebody and the other person may still be attempting trying to show how they feel towards you um, leading to some kind of uh, kind of imbalance in the connection but overall I do see here for you Sagis some excitement some happiness because of how somebody is demonstrating their love regardless if you are the younger female or if you're dealing with the younger female okay so let's see here so let's go ahead and get into your guidance so i have here um cards from my crystal angels i believe they're called deck some cards from my Wisdom of the Oracle deck, and then we'll get into your postcard from Spirit, and that will go ahead and wrap up your reading, uh, my lovely, lovely Sagis. So, for your Crystal Angels card, I have here, the first card is Lapis Lazuli, which is this wonderful, beautiful blue stone. This is a stone of, you know, because it's blue, it, it coincides with the throat, sh throat chakra, communication, things like that. And it says, life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God, universe, spirit, your higher power is supporting you each step of the way. So during the any portion of May, you may be experiencing, um, Sagis, a life-changing, again, a life-changing epiphany. You may receive some uh, divine downloads, some divine information, you know, maybe when meditating, maybe when, uh, for those of you who like to take baths, you could you know receive i got that message for some of you um for some of you who like to take baths you may receive a message um in the bathtub you know when your mind is clear regarding an epiphany a life-changing epiphany again or a life-changing experience many of you will have during any portion of may it's a time of big and blessed change for you and god is supporting you each step of the way god universe your higher power is supporting you in this change in this progression in this transformation in this transcendence that you will experience at the end of um, of May once again if there's some communication that you need to experience you know go ahead and get those messages out I really enjoy Lapis Azuli um, it helps me regarding my communication I do have a little angel uh, uh, angel made of Lapis Azuli the second card that I have here is uh, Moonstone which is this stone this is uh this moonstone here it's a white stone um but it, it's a little cloudy you know it's a cloudy white stone um they have rainbow moonstone which when you look at it in the light and when you look at it, first, look at it in certain lights you can see different colors pinks blues yellows looking at this this maybe i'm not really seeing much of the rainbow moonstone in this card maybe room related but um we have here the moonstone which is a card of intuition this is a card of feminine energy connecting with your feminine energy here for many of you and it makes sense that on this card so if you can see um let's see if you guys can see this you see this little um egg here um right here um 
Let's see if I can make the card kind of show. But you see how there's some different colors in this stone here. So there's some pinks, you know, blues, purples, um, uh, just different colors here, greens, all sorts of all sorts of colors here. Um, so this moonstone speaks of heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. One thing you can do if you have a moonstone, or you can go to a metaphysics shop. Um, you know there are many shops around that have stones. You can also go online and purchase a moonstone. You know, jewelry with a moonstone is great. Um, you can go ahead and if, for example, if you want to buy a ring with a moonstone, put it on your middle finger as that will help increase your intuition. I suggest putting it on the um, left hand because this is a hand of receiving or if, whatever hand you don't write with. So if you're right handed, put it on your left hand. If you're left handed, put it on your right hand. This is a hand of receiving. So this will help you if you put, for example, a ring on your middle finger. On the left hand, whatever hand is your receiving hand, not your giving hand, your writing hand is your giving hand, your receiving hand will help you um, increase your intuition, it will bring intuitive insight to you. You can also sleep with a moonstone under your pillow, for example, and set the intention, you know, when you have this moonstone, you put it under your pillow, set the intention to um, receive heightened intuition, to receive heightened insight, to receive information through your dreams, things like that. Um, Amethyst is also a great stone for that as well. If you would like to put an amethyst under your pillow to increase your intuition. Also, you can um, get a stone. I mean, I know this is the moonstone, but to, to increase your intuition, you can get a um, clear quartz such as this. And you can put it near your bed, you know, laying down, have it point towards you on your nightstand or you know wherever it is has it have it point towards you as you sleep so that can also help increase your intuition so anyway this moonstone card once again says heightened intuition be extra aware oh this is a big message for you guys be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy so pay attention to the insight you receive pay attention to the messages you receive pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your inner knowing pay attention to your higher self because you are going to be very intuitive at this time regarding this romantic situation and again you're having some life-changing epiphany some life-changing experiences so go with the flow allow this transcendence to occur allow this new energy to occur and pay attention to your intuition saggies So for your additional guidance, I'm going to use here my Wisdom of the Oracle cards and the cards that I have here. I have here number 15 and this is Message in a Bottle. In the upright, number 50, No Place Like Home. In the reverse, Dark Side of the Card, Shadow Side of the Card. Number 39, New Life. In the upright. Number 47, go the distance in the upright. So, Sagis, let's see what I can pick up here. Okay, so the first card here that came up is, again, this number. Actually, this is a card on the bottom of the deck. This is number 15, message in a bottle, six energy, speaking of um, harmony, fulfillment, happiness, you know, all those wonderful things. So just like this moonstone card here, this is saying in order to achieve happiness, in order to achieve, um, you know, fulfillment and these things within your romantic life, Sagis, many of you need to pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to the messages that you receive, pay attention to the guidance that you receive, pay attention to, for example, um, this can be paying attention to billboards. This card also speaks of Cletons or Cletons, Cletons, um, which can speak of an, an innocent message or a message of guidance, a higher message that was innocently given by the orator. So this can be, you know, you having a uh, situation, or I'm sorry, having a conversation with a friend, for example, over dinner, and this person may 
provide you with some kind of insight or may say something to you that makes something happen that causes some kind of switch or that causes you know some kind of um light bulb to go out to go off um providing some insight into your situation into your circumstances so this is a card saying to pay attention to your intuition pay attention to you know the messages that you are receiving from your higher self um many people uh for example i receive messages through television a lot of the times i receive messages through music you know through my external environment so pay attention to these things you could be receiving messages again through watching television um it's funny i receive so many messages just from watching family guy um so you may receive messages from television from billboards from music from a friend um however you do pay attention to these signs pay attention to what you are being told right now because these messages are very very significant so i have here again this number 50 in the reverse this no place like home card so it looks like there's some divine changes that need to happen but because this is this card is in the reverse it looks like there may have been some stagnation regarding these changes you may have not been willing to move forward and make these changes at this uh, in the past but during the ending portion of may you are being called to you're being um you know you're recommended to make these changes so there's no place like home card in the reverse it speaks of and when this card is in the upright it speaks of authenticity and being at home with yourself and um being comfortable in your own skin nevertheless in the reverse in the shadow side of this card this is speaking of not being too quick to find home so for some of you, you may be doing the same thing over and over, or there may be a pattern, a circumstance, a behavior, a thought that is home to you, that is familiar to you, that you have carried over from past relationships, that you have carried over from the past. This is something that is very familiar to you. And as card is saying, Sagittarius, to not be so quick to find home, be willing to do something different, be willing to find a new home. And the wonderful thing is when we do new things, when we behave in new ways when we transcend when we um you know transform our programming and um or even if we don't transcend our for programming at the time when we at least make the effort to try something new to do a new action to behave in a new way that can become the new home so what we find is for example if we're in relationships and um we're not getting what it is that we want or what we need or we're feeling some kind of lack in our relationships we can behave in a new way and behaving in that new way can bring us a new outcome you know we can't get the we can't achieve a new outcome by doing the same things we've always done the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and uh expecting a different outcome so said jesus is saying to you know move forward past insanity move forward past that energy do something new do something different as you do that you will find a new home you will find a new normal and that will be you know something that is much more beneficial for you something that's much more fulfilling for you so i have here again number 39 a new life this is a three energy speaking of transitions, progression, moving forward. And this new life card says that you said just may be indeed moving forward in your love lives. You may be um, progressing in your love life, progressing in your attitudes, progressing in your lifestyle. Um, however, this resonates, but you are moving forward in some kind of way. Or this is speaking of moving forward in your love life and how to move forward. And this is saying that you are awakening into a brand new period. You are awakening into a brand new cycle. You are break awakening into a brand new life. You are um, attaining, you are receiving new new opportunities when it comes to love and romance there's new energy there's fresh energy there's you know fresh new beautiful things coming to you in your love and romantic relationships especially especially in particular if you do decide to go ahead and let go of these control issues and let whatever happen happen or let whatever happens happen you are waking up into a beautiful new life, a beautiful new energy. You know, if necessary, be careful with yourself. Um, be gentle with yourself as you wake up in this new time. But that's more of the reverse meaning of this card. But in the upright, this is a positive card saying that you are 
moving forward into a new phase, new energy, new experiences. And, you know, it's like you're waking up from the winter. For example, some of you could feel as though you're going through a period of winter in your love life where things were cold, bleak, you know, um, you may have felt left out in the cold or however that resonates with you, but things could have been cool. And now you're waking up into a beautiful new period of spring. The sun is shining. It is spring now. You know, you see the birds in the sky and maybe that the colors look more bright to you, you know, um, because the way we look at the world, you know, how we see the world has a lot to do with our mental state. And if we're in a lower vibrating energy, then the world can actually look darker, more dim to us, as opposed to when we're in a higher space, uh, you know, brighter space, which is representative of this new life energy. So you can be waking up into a new, beautiful time within your life. So enjoy these new experiences, enjoy this new time and uh, receive the blessings, be willing to receive and enjoy the blessings, you know, be grateful for the blessings. For some of you, it could be useful to keep a gratitude list in order to write down all the things that you're grateful for to attract more things to be grateful for or write down or keep a love list um things write down 15 things that you love every day um in order to attract more love into your life in order to multiply i'm hearing these new opportunities and new experiences coming to you all right so i have here uh last but not least from these oracle cards and then again i'll go ahead and get into your postcard from spirit to wrap up this reading i have this go the distance card and um, i actually like this card this go the distance card this is seven eight nine ten eleven so this is speaking of for example uh spiritual transformation you know um developing your spirituality this can also be regarding your partnerships making choices in your partnerships and balance within your partnerships attaining and achieving balance within your partnerships this go the distance card number 47 says that you saggies regardless of what is going on in your love life you have the ability to see this situation through you have the tenacity you have the ability you have the courage you have the strength you have the resilience as well to see this situation through however it resonates with you you can get through this situation so focus on the long term the long term as opposed to the short term and focus on how to make the right moves do the right things uh, transcend your beliefs and patterns in order to achieve long-term happiness, success, fulfillment. So for others of you, this is also referring to a circumstance that you are in now. And this is saying that you have the ability to see this situation through to fulfillment, you know, to fruition rather. You have the ability to see this situation through to fruition. So you may be building a relationship now that can stand the test of time that can evolve through the long term um, however this resonates with you so you could be building a solid foundation between you and another person in order to build a relationship that again will stand the test of time that will you know carry over into the future so this is a really great card again you have the tenacity you have the ability you have the strength you have the courage you have the resilience to get through this time focus on the long term and what it is that you want in the long term saggies and you have the ability to attain that to achieve that and pay attention to your intuition and you know the cleans that you experience the messages that you experience the signs that you experience pay attention to red flags if you're seeing any red flags about something that you should move away from but pay attention to your intuition and that will most likely let you uh you know lead you rather to your destiny in the future, in the near future. Again, let go of control issues. Let go of control issues here. Okay, so lastly, I have here your postcard from Spirit. So this will go ahead and wrap up your reading, my lovely Sagi friends. So this card says here, dearest you, all of your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. So what it is that you want what is in your mind, whatever your dominant thoughts are, is what you are attracting or your dominant thoughts are what you are attracting to you. And these things are manifesting in the unseen realms. All your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Be grateful 
So again, keep a gratitude list that could be useful. Or if you don't want to actually write down this gratitude list, you can also do it on your phone. You know, a lot of phones now we have the ability to uh, speak through the microphone. Um, so you can use your microphone to just say, I'm grateful for this, grateful for that. Or at the very, very least, upon awakening or upon and upon going to sleep, not or, but upon awakening, at the very least, and upon going to sleep. Um, think about take note of mentally the things that you are grateful for be grateful praise things before they manifest and always ask for the highest good when you plead and i'm sorry when you plead and beg that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg so it's interesting when we say i want a relationship the universe hears what it is that we want the universe says oh this person's wa this person wants this i'm going to give them more things to want so we have to make the intention to be in the relationship that we want, make the intention to achieve what it is that we want, have what it is that we want. And we have to have the energy of having whatever that is now. So if you want love, say that I have love now. If you are uh, seeking a uh, feeling romantic relationship, be fulfilled now and be in love with yourself right now. When you plead and beg, that will only bring you more reasons to plead and beg. So when it comes to the law of attraction, we never want to say, you know, I really want this. I really want this. I really want this because it's only going to give us more reason to want. We have to actually be in the energy of having that. So instead, offer your prayers as sacred gifts, as a testament to your faith in a higher power. So also for some of you, um, if there's some things that you would like, go ahead and check out in my playlist. I have a, a video and it's um, it's, it's titled uh, Warning. This video will change your life. I believe it is my review of the book. It works. And um, this video is a very, very, very powerful video because I guarantee you, if you do what is said in this video, you will see see that this technique will bring you what it is that you want in your love life in your life in general regardless of what it is if you practice what i speak of in that video so if you want a happy loving fulfilling relationship check out that video i give you the tools there to attain that open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you Add meditation as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with inspiration and epiphanies, peace, understanding, and joy. For some of you, it could be useful also to um, spend some time meditating, clearing your mind, and visualizing what it is that you want, exactly what it is that you want. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. For the highest good of you and all who are available. I'm, I'm sorry, all who are involved. Sometimes what you pray for is not supported to happen for you. And your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. Rejection is God's protection in some, in many ways, you know, in many instances. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. Alrighty, my lovely Saggy friends, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Please thumbs up and like this video if the messages resonate with you. Please comment, please share, and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, again, you can do so at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also contact me at any time through the Instant Go app. Both links are in the description box below, so go ahead and check those out. If you'd like to book a future partner reading with me, you can do so now through the description box below so check that out as well Mwah. i love you my saggy friends so so much i wish you the best i'm sending you love i'm sending you light in all your endeavors and in the ending portion of may and actually throughout all of may because it is the beginning of may now i look very forward to seeing you here very very soon please thumbs up and like this video if the messages resonate with you please comment please share Please subscribe if you have done so already. Um, if you have not done so already, I, know, I just noticed here I have one hour and 11 minutes on the clock here. I just saw one hour, 11 minutes, and 44 seconds. Speaking of a lot of movement forward in your spirituality, you know, beautiful new beginnings. Pay attention to your thoughts and what it is that you are manifesting as well. And I see angelic healing coming to you during the ending portion of May. I love you guys, and I will see you here very, very soon. Alrighty. Bye, Sagis.